viewers in this module we are going to start our new chapter that is last chapter in 8th class playing with numbers so we are going to start our first exercise first question so what is that is using divisibility rules find which of the following numbers are divisible by 2 5 and 10 say yes or no in the given table what do you observe so 524 is divisible by Two. Why? Because here unit digit is unit digit is what? They are given four. That is even. Then five. It is not divisible by no. Why? Because it's not ended with either zero or either zero or five. Then it is divisible not divisible by ten. Why? Because it's not be zero. So in unit digits two four means it should be end with either zero two. 4, 6, 8, like that. This one will be either 5 or 0. It should be compulsory. It is. So, what is that? It should be 0. Then, divisible by 2 means yes, it is divisible by unit digit is 0. Then, it is divisible by 2. Then, unit digit is 0. Yes, it is also divisible by 5. Then, this is also divisible by 10. Why? Because unit digit is 0. Then, here 5 is there. Then 5 means what you can take here is it's not divisible. Why? Because the unit digit is not an even. So for this, no. For this, yes. Why? Because unit digit is 5. Then for this, no. Then our next one is 836. Yes, it is unit digit is 6. Then it is divisible by yes. Then again, it's not divisible by 5. Why? Because it's not ended with 0 or 5. Then this is also no then our next one is 780 so here unit is it is 0 yes it is divisible by 2 then it is also divisible by 5 then it is also divisible by 10 then 3005 so here no why because it is not divisible by 2 why because here is not ended with even number then it is divisible by 5 then it is not divisible by 10 then 4820 yes by 2 by because unit is it is 0 then unit is 0 for that it is as then unit is it is 0 for that it is also yes our last one is 48630 so it is divisible by 2 then it is also divisible by 5 then it is also divisible by 10 so what we observed is if any number is divisible by 10 so that is also divisible by 2 and 5 so you can take this one this one then this one and here also you can check so if it is a number is divisible by 5 then it is also divisible by both 5 and 2 the number is not divisible by 10 then it is not divisible by any of that why because 10 you can write in the format of 5 into 2. If it is a divisible by 10, then it is also divisible by both of its factors. So our next question is, using divisibility test, determine which of the following numbers are divisible by 2. So our first one is A, 2144. Here, unit digit, it is divisible by 2 or not. Divisible by 2 or not so our first one is 2000 so 4 here unit is it is 4 this is even so what is the case here as yes, it is divisible by 2 so divisible by 2 or not by 2 so what is the case the divisibility rule of 2 is actually the unit digit should be unit digit should be 0 2 4 6 8 it should be ended with any of that then it will be divisible by 2 so divisible by 2 or not divisible by 2 so our next one is 1 2 5 8 so what is the unit digit here 8 so you can write 8 this is even then as yes, it is divisible by 2 our next one is 4336 4, then what is the unit is it here? Yes, 6. It is even. Yes, it is divisible by 
2. The next one is D is 633. Then what is the unit digit here? So unit digit is 3. It is odd. Then it is not divisible by 2. Then it is not divisible by 2. Our last one is E 1352. Then what is the unit digit? 2. Yes, 2. It is an even. Then it is divisible by 2. This is the case of divisibility rule. So, any number should be divisible by 2 means it should be a unit digit should be added with either 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. Any of them it will be presented or even numbers other than 0 then it is divisible by 2. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Hello viewers. Thanks for watching our videos. If not yet subscribe, please subscribe and click the bell icon. So our third question is using divisibility tests determine which of the following numbers are divisible by 5. So any number should be divisible by 5 means unit digit should be its unit digit will be equal to 0 or 5 then it will be divisible by 5 then what you can say that is the case. So our A1 is 438750. So what is the unit digit here? 0. Yes. 0 unit digit is. Yes it is divisible by 5. Unit digits will be equal to what? Unit digit will be equal to 0. Then our next one is B. 179015. So what is the unit digit here? 5. Yes, it is divisible by 5. Then unit digit is 5. Next, our C1 is 125. Then what is the unit digit? 5 is there. Yes, it is also divisible by 5. Then unit digit is 5. Then our D is equals to 639210. Then what is the unit digit? 0. Here, yes, it is divisible by 5, then unit digit is 0, then E will be 17852. So, here, what is the unit digit? 2 it is. So, it is not divisible by 5, then unit digit is 2. Any number should be divisible by 5 or anything means, uh, 5 or 10 means it should be either divisible, either ended with 0. It should be divisible by 5 means it should be ended with either 0 or 5. So in our next question what is that is fourth one using divisibility test determine which of the following numbers are divisible by 10. So actually what is the divisibility rule of 10. Divisible by 10 means unit digit should be unit digit equal to 0 then only it will be divisible by 10. Our first one is a 54450. So here write unit digit divisible by 10 or not divisible by 10 or not. So you, here unit digit is 0 then yes it is divisible by 10. Next one b 10800. So here 0 unit digit, yes it is divisible by 10. Then I'll see 7138965. So what is the unit digit here? 5 is unit digit, then it is not divisible by not divisible by 10. Then again D 7016930. So here unit digit is what? 0, then it is divisible by 10. Our last one, 10101010. Then what is the unit digit here? 0. So, yes, it is divisible by 10. Unit digit based on unit digits, you can say that is divisible by 10 or not. Hello viewers, thanks for watching our videos. If not yet subscribe, please subscribe and click the bell icon. So, here, fifth question. Write the number of factors of the following. So, first one, what they are given is 18. First you have to make it as factorized and we will get in the numbers and we will write in the format of exponentials then we are going to add. 
So what is the formula is this one as actually 18 let's take 18 2 9 za then again divide 9 with 3 3 za then 18 can be written as 2 into 3 into 3 then what you can take here 2 power 1 into 3 square so what you can write here is so exponential form be written the number of factors so number of factors is what is the value is so actually what is the exponent value for that we are going to add 1 1 and we will take it a product to that so for 1 add 1 into for 2 add 1 so 2 into 3 that is 6 is the number of factors our next one 24 so 24 divided with 2 1 za 2 12 za then again 2 6 za then 3 2 za 3 2 za 6 or 2 3 za 6 whatever you can take so this one 24 can be written in the format of 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 then what is the value number of factors so number of factors will be so number of factors will be equal to so you can take this as 2 cube into 3 power 1 so number of factors how many will get 3 plus 1 into for 1 plus 1 we need to add so 3 plus 1 will be 4 into 2 then 8 will get so how many number of factors 8 factors will be then our next one is so let's take C 45 so 45 5 9 za then you can take as 3 3 za so 5 9 za then 3 3 za so let's take here 45 you can write in the format of 5 into 3 into 3 that is 5 into 5 power 1 into 3 square so what you can write here number of factors will be for exponents add 1 to 1 so 1 plus 1 into 2 plus 1 then 2 into 3 that will be equal to 6 how many number of factors 6 factors are there then our next one is 90 so let's take 90 so 2 4 za 8 then 2 5 za then again it will go with 3 it will not go with 2 so 3 1 za then 3 5 za then 3 5 za so what you can write 90 so 90 can be written in the format of 2 into 3 into 3 then 5 so actually this is 2 power 1 into 3 square into 5 power 1 then what is that number of factors will be so number of factors will be equal to for 1 add 1 again product for 2 add 1 into product for that 1 so 2 into so 3 into 2 2 2 is a 4 4 into 3 then number of factors will be 12 our last one is 105 so 105 will be divided with 3 it will not go with 2 so 3 3 is a 9 then 3 5 is a 15 then again it will go with 3 no 2 no then go with 5 so 5 7 is up so that's all so 105 can be written in the format of 105 into 3 into 5 into 7 so here power 1 1 is there the number of factors what you can take number of factors will be so for that exponents add 1 to it 1 plus 1 into here 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 1 so 2 into 2 into 2 that will be equal to 4 into 2 so how many factors 8 factors are there thanks for watching please subscribe so in this module we are going to discuss that is sixth one write any five numbers which are divisible by 2 5 and 10 so what is the divisibility rule of 2 so we should know what is the divisibility rule then you can move forward to that divisibility rule of 2 then divisibility rule of divisible by 5 then you have to check divisible by 10 then you can move easily so we are going to 
discussed regarding divisibility rule of unit digits so with using of unit digits only you can move so unit digit should be divisible by 0 2 4 6 8 then what you can take again for this 0 or pi then for this compulsory it is 0 so what is the common in all the things so what is the common 0 0 0 so 0 is a common in all the divisibility rules so the numbers should be any number any numbers should have unit digit unit digit as 0 then that numbers will be going to divisible by 2 5 10 so let's take 10 20 30 100 thousands then 2350 then 6780 then 90560 etc so here all numbers ended with zero unit digit as always zero you can check it here all digits are zero then it all these numbers will be divisible by 2 5 10 thanks for watching please subscribe hello viewers our seventh question is a number 34a is exactly divisible by 2 and leaves reminder 1 when it is divisible by 5 then find the a so actually it should be divisible by 2 means the values of a will be either 0 2 4 6 8 like that the values of a will be like it is it will be 340 342 then 344 then 346 then 348 so these are all numbers are divisible by 2 these all numbers are divisible by divisible by 2 then now we are going to check with divisible by 5 so 340 is divisible by 5 means so what is the reminder it will be 0 why because unit digit is 0 it's simply divisible by 5 then 342 is divisible by 5 means the reminder will be 2 how it is is 5 1s are so let's take here so 5 5 6 are then 5 8s are 40 then let's take here 5 1s are 5 6 are 42 will come then 5 8s are 40 then reminder will be 2 our next one is 344 by 5 so then what is this so what value will get 5 ones are then 5 six are 30 then 44 will come then 5 eights are then what is the reminder here we'll get 4 so we'll get what is the reminder 4 you'll get why because here 5 eights are then 346 so 346 by 5 then divided with 5 ones are then 5 six are 30 then 46 will get 5 nines are 45 then 46 minus 45 will be what you will get 1 you will get then so here only we are getting answer 348 by 5 you can do 5 ones are 5 six are then 5 nines are 45 then what is the reminder 3 48 minus 45 will come that 3 will be reminder so where we are getting reminder as 1 so where you are getting reminder as 1 here so 346 the required number a is what 6 the reminder is what 1 so a value therefore a is equals to 6 then on the reminder we are getting 1 with the divisible by 5 thanks for watching please subscribe